friends, thank you for stopping by Mimi's Mix Bag. I want to give a big thank you to all of you that commented love and support on my son's highlight wedding video. He's very happy and we had a great time. But if you're new here, I normally post more than once a week, but after this virtual school year, hopefully I'll get back to normal. But this week, I want to share with you a really easy Christmas dessert that takes very few ingredients. What you're going to need is a white cake mix. You're going to need a couple different flavors. You can make it one whole flavor, but it really makes it pretty for Christmas if you use a red jello and a green jello color. You could use strawberry, cherry, raspberry, and the only green I know is the lime. And lime does pair well with those fruit flavors. You're actually going to ice it with a tub of Cool Whip. So the first thing you need to do, just bake your cake mix, just like the box directions. I decided to make mine square just for a different look. You can do round or square. It really shows up pretty if you make it a two layer cake versus a nine by 13. So these cakes were baked last night. I'm gonna take a fork and I'm just going to pierce them, I don't know, about 15 times all around. Okay, all right, the next step, I'm going to take each jello in a separate bowl and I'm going to dissolve one cup of hot water for the whole box of jello. These are the little three ounce boxes. So I'll have a cup of strawberry and a cup of lime. As you can see, I've got Christmas colors. And you know, when you're making regular jello, it says to boil the water. I just put it all in a bowl and microwave it for a minute, just as long as the sugar is dissolved. Like I said, just one cup, not the two cups that the box says. The directions also say to spoon over your pierced holes. I've seen people before pour it onto the cake. It almost makes the whole cake reddish. And I want it to be kind of striped looking instead of just soaking the whole cake. Just do the best you can. Because once it's done, it's still going to be cute once you slice it. So I'm going to go ahead, do this cake with red, and then I'm going to do this cake with the green. And I'm going to put both pans in the refrigerator for two to three hours and let it set up. All right, it's been a couple hours and I pulled the cakes out and I loosened them up around the edges with a knife. And then I'm going to run about an inch of warm water in my kitchen sink and let the pan sit in there for like a minute and it'll help loosen up the set jello that's at the bottom of the pan. All right, I've got my green cake on the plate now and I tell you the warm water is the trick to it. Now I'm going to take a cup of Cool Whip and put it as my in-between layer and smooth it all out. Now I'm going to loosen up the red one and put it on top. All right, got the red one on there. It wants to fall apart just a little bit. I maybe should have left it in there three solid hours, but I'm going to go ahead and frost the rest of it with the Cool Whip and it should cover up any imperfections. All right, crisis averted. I was able to cover up the cracked top layer with plenty of Cool Whip, just your regular tub size. Now there's a variety of ways you could finish this off. You know, I've put fresh strawberries on there before, but with it being Christmas, I wanted it to be a Christmas cake. So what I did is I just took a little silk poinsettia I had and put a stick in it and just pulled the stem off. Just poke it right down in the center like that. And then when you get ready to slice it, you just pull the flower out. So I'm going to go ahead and slice it up and show you how pretty it is. All right, here's what the inside of the cake looks like. You can clearly see the red and green colors. And then I just added a couple slices here just so you can see what they look like. But I got just a couple notes that I maybe failed to mention. That be sure and get a white cake mix so that your green and red show up a little more vividly. If you use a yellow cake, the colors aren't as red and green. But you could take this idea and use strawberry and raspberry for red white and blue patriotic you could do pastel colors for Easter but it just makes a really light dessert after a big meal of just cake and Cool Whip and it's not heavy buttercream so I hope you like this Christmas poke cake idea and you will make the opportunity to try it thanks so much for watching and I'll be back next week